Have you seen what Bitcoin is about to do? Have you seen this chart right here? Bitcoin is about to break above this key level of resistance for the first time since 2020. And then we've got this legendary chart. Bitcoin is about to break above this green channel and hold support coming out of a bear market for the first time since 2019. Things are heating up, but are they going to continue? In today's video, we cover all of the facts, so get ready. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Steve. On this channel, we do it different. We stand out from the crowd. We cover only the facts and the charts. Hit that subscribe button. You're gonna absolutely love it here. And we're jumping straight into it. We're gonna start right here. We're on Bitcoin, US dollar index. We're on the weekly chart. And we have the most critical market structure that Bitcoin has had in many, many years just breaking. As we speak, that critical, critical market structure that we've been forming since 2020. You can see before we were holding this as resistance. Then we started holding it as support. We held it through support through this entire period here during the 2021 run up of May and June and July. And then you come down fast forward to May of 2022. We're also holding it as support. And then we finally broke it. And it's been a long time for Bitcoin to really test this area. We've been holding resistance, not one, not two, not three, not four weeks of resistance at this level. And Bitcoin is about to break above and hold support for the first time coming up and holding this level of support since 2020. So there's a lot happening in Bitcoin. I want to address a couple things. Obviously, if you like charts and you like information that actually helps you, go check us out on Twitter right now. Crypto Crew U on Twitter. Tons of value, tons of chart. It all helps you tremendously. Crypto Crew U, tons of value there. Now, when we pull up this chart, it's getting hard. It'll be hard for people to argue that Bitcoin has not reached its bottom if we continue to hold this level as support with weekly candles. Now, let's be very, very clear about where we're at. Right now, we are up above this level and we are holding as support, but let's be abundantly clear. Bitcoin has not closed a weekly candle as support at this level, period. We haven't done it yet. A week from today, we're going to know really well where Bitcoin stands. But right now, we can get relatively excited about the possibility of closing above this level, but Bitcoin hasn't done anything yet. It's in the process of doing said thing. And if it does said thing, it's going to be hard for the bears to really argue against Bitcoin not being in a bull run. It'll be very difficult, right? So if you're new to our channel, we believe we're in a bull run and it's not some opinion we've just started this week or last week or even last month we've been saying it six eight months ago that 2023 was going to be the start of the bull run based on all of the facts in the charts for bitcoin but make no mistake this would be a major accomplishment for bitcoin and something that we could be relatively excited about Come Sunday, 11.59 UTC time, we're going to know. I want to get to this chart as well. This chart is beautiful. This is such a beautiful chart that I wanted to share this with you. What we have in this chart is the bull market tops and the bear market bottoms. We have a red channel on top which runs parallel and it captures all of the price action that Bitcoin has seen in all of its runups, right? This red channel runs across the top here. And anytime that we enter this channel, it spells the absolute parabolic top and that we should proceed with caution. Case in point, here we are in 2013. Here we are with that first run up of 2013. So it captured both of these runs up run-ups in 2013. It also captured the run-up in uh, 18, where we got up to 20K. And you can see where we're at with our recent run-up, came right up to this red line holding as resistance. So we all know that there are diminishing returns by a factor of 5.3. We have our 5.3 theory, and you can see it clear as day in front of you, right? 
Bitcoin is not as parabolic as it once was by a factor of precisely 5.3. Now, if you're wondering what the 5.3 is, we'll put the link down below to that video. But right now, we've got this red channel on top, bull market tops, and we've got this green channel on bottom, bear market bottoms. So you look at where Bitcoin was all the way back in 2011, we're holding support right inside of this green channel, and you go back to 2015, and you look at where Bitcoin was holding inside of this green channel. I do want to draw your attention to this market structure here, because if you look at where we are present day and where we were in 2015, it's oddly similar. For example, how many candles were inside of this green channel? Well, we were in there for precisely 294 days, right? 294 days during this 2015 period. Wait till you see what's happening present day, right? Present day, we were in here for, guess what? 294 days. 294 days precisely for 2015 and for 2019. And then you've got to look at the facts. We were inside for 294 days. This was our candle that confirmed as support and we're in the midst of our second candle. So where we just spoke with our previous chart, we're trying to get our first candle to close above this incredibly important market structure. We talk about this chart has already confirmed and it's printing its second candle. Now we've got to look at the charts for some facts because we understand, okay, we were in here for 294 days that's relatively cool. You should definitely be buying inside of this green channel. You should not be buying inside of this red channel, right? And conversely, you shouldn't be selling inside of this green channel where a lot of people wanted to sell that didn't quite have the understanding of the, the facts in the charts, right? We called our bottom one here. We called our second bottom here. We called uh, based on a lot of facts in the charts, most importantly, this one, with the total market cap 2018, first bottom in June, second bottom in July, total market cap was all over it. And then here we are with present day, right? Now, we have to look at this structure and ask ourselves, okay, when we were inside of this green channel and we came out of the green channel and held support on the green channel, what happened next? So if we go back in time and we go all the way back to 2011, we were inside of this green channel we came out of it. This was our first confirmation candle. This was our second. We actually started holding support on this green channel, which, by the way, was rising at the time. But we were holding this level as support for an extended period of time. I mean, we're talking about five months in a row, 10 bars here, and each bar is two weeks. So we were in there for a whole bunch of months holding support. That was our next move, right? And we talked about Bitcoin is in phase one of the bull run. And we'll get more into that in a moment. But phase one sees an explosion out of the bear market. This explosion takes Bitcoin out of the bear market and into the bull. But in the first phase of the bull, it's relatively quiet as we build further market structure, as we approach our all-time high. It takes a lot of time to get to a new all-time high, and it happens with structure. And if we fast forward to 2015, we're inside the, the bull run, we get into this red area, we come back down 294 days in the green. Again, a lot of rookie traders and rookie investors will be selling during this green period out of fear. Emotion is a money killer. You only want to buy during these positions, but it gets very stressful because when we're in here, everybody says we're gonna drop by 90% more. They, they always say that and they always will. The next bear market will be the same. But again, when you look at what Bitcoin did, here's what our last resistance candle. This was our first breakthrough candle. This was our first confirmation candle of that breakthrough. This was our second. And you look at the structure we built. It was relatively quiet. It wasn't right on this green line. It was above it. But again, it wasn't like Bitcoin was shooting up by 20, 30 percent every other day. That's not what happens in the first phase of a bull run. We'll get to what happens in a moment, but I want to make that abundantly clear. Some people say, oh, Steve said we're in a bull run. That means Bitcoin is just going to go to a million dollars tomorrow. It doesn't work like that. Nothing goes straight up. Nothing goes straight down. Now, when we get to 2019, we're inside of this green channel, not for very long, but 
quite a long time, right? We're talking about multiple months inside of this green channel. Again, when you, if you were in crypto at this time, you probably had the strongest sense to sell during this green channel. Just like recently, you probably had the strongest sense to sell during this green channel, even when you were watching my video. And for month after month after month, I kept saying it's more risky to be out of Bitcoin than in Bitcoin, that it's highly probable we bottomed based on all of the statistical evidence that we have at our fingertips. And case in point, in green, you wanna buy, plain and simple. And you can see in 2019, we came out of it. This was our breakthrough candle. This was our confirmation candle. We did have a second confirmation candle holding as support. And we actually came up and we got resistance from this white line. And then we came back down. This was our first bottom. This was our second technical bottom. This was our ABC correction from this market cycle high. And then here we are in present day. We had market cycle top one and two. We had incredibly strong bearish divergence at this market cycle top and you saw what happened. It plummeted us deep into this green channel. By the way, I freaking love this chart. This chart is so clean, it's so accurate, and it has so much power. And you may be wondering, okay, it's called Steve's bear market bottoms and bull market tops. How the hell do I get this indicator? I have exciting news. I'm going to be giving this indicator for free to everyone in the FFA this month. Everyone in the FFA will get this indicator for free. I got to show my love to my people. The FFA is on fire. Uh, just like this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe here. Just like our Twitter, make sure you subscribe here. But we're on fire. We're on fire. We're talking about where we're at right now. So FFA students, this one's coming to you this month. Can't wait for you to have it. Now, we're out of here. Confirmation candle number one. We're in the midst of confirmation candle number two. Can we expect it to be like 2019 where we just shoot up to this white line? I mean, anything is possible, but it's not that realistic. Why? Because our market structure is a lot more aligned to the 2015 cycle and not that aligned to the 2019 cycle. Just look structurally about where we're at. You know, we talked about 294 days in the green. We, we didn't spend 294 days in the green in 2018. In fact, it was about 100, right? So it, it was about one third of the amount of time that we did in 2015 and uh, respectively in 2023. So what we can expect, we're gonna get to that in a moment. I wanna cover some more facts so you have a full picture, right? Also down here at the bottom, we have our ADX and DI. That green cross through back here in January. Again, a lot of things really started to come into play in January, which we covered right here on our channel. A lot of really bullish signals started to happen. Again, we had bottom number one, bottom number two, incredibly strong bullish divergence, massively strong bullish divergence. It, when green is on top in ADX and DI, price goes up. When red is on top, price goes down. We were in red literally from November 2021 all the way until January 2023, we were in red on top. So give props to Bitcoin. It's also come out of it and quite notably, it's made its cycle peak high here and a higher high here. So I like to see that. I like to see that this growth is coming. We've got to hold this line. So our last chart is here where our month of close is important to hold 29K as support. We still have some time before our monthly close, and we've got the monthly MACD cross coming, which has happened a few other times, but it doesn't always mean something incredibly good. It usually means that the market goes sideways and it has a, a trouble uh, reaching an all-time high for quite a while. Case in point here, MACD cross on the monthly happened here. Yes, prices rose steadily, but it wasn't an absolute parabolic rise to a new all-time high, which some people really get in this energy, in the space, that that's what's going to happen. It's just markets don't move like that. If they do, get the hell out of the way. That is not sustainable. So now let's summarize what we think is going to happen, okay? I believe, based on 
all the statistical evidence, all the geometry that's in front of us, all of the facts and the charts, I strongly believe that Bitcoin is in the first phase of its bull run. It's in the first phase of its bull run, and it's getting very difficult to argue that, right? Once we see Bitcoin really hold that support here with weekly candles, there are no more arguments that Bitcoin is in the first phase of the bull run, all right? You can make the debate right now, but once we start closing multiple weekly candles with the body holding a 30K support, it's going to be very difficult, right? Now, we're not there yet, but we're getting close. And all the signs are pointing to first phase of the bull run. Now, I will say the first phase of the bull run is not what you expect. It's not a parabolic explosion in price. That's it, it, not what phase one is about. In fact, I'm going to do some future videos about when I think we're going to reach an all-time high. And it's not going to be something you want to hear. Usually on this channel, I tell you what you don't want to hear, but it's the facts. And if you fast forward months and months later, then you're like, holy crap, I should have listened to Steve. He told me all of these things I hated to hear, and now they happened. So I'm going to make a video. But first phase of the bull run is amazing. I'm very excited about it. You should be as well, but don't get overly excited. Bitcoin, during this next bull run, it's going to have multiple pullbacks of 45, 55%. That's going to really take everybody by surprise, but not you. We're going to cover it right here. We're going to stay level-headed. And Bitcoin is, is we're going to look at the structure, the health and wellness of Bitcoin. But right now, it's showing a lot of phenomenal signs. And there's a lot more to come. More videos coming. Hit that subscribe button. Follow on the Twitters. Shout out to everybody in the FFA. This indicator is coming to you completely free. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs. Do you want to know when to buy and when to sell? Click this video right now.